In the 23rd century, the starship Pushkin discovers a derelict alien spaceship of unknown origin. The alien craft's crew are identical humanoids created by an advanced cloning process. Most are dead, but one woman is found in a catatonic state. The leader of the mission, scientist Sergei Lebedev, brings her to Earth. He settles her in his house and names her Nia. Nia suffers from memory loss and cannot recall anything of her past. As she adapts to life on Earth, she discovers she has a variety of telekinetic powers. A friend of Lebedev, Professor Ivanova, begins studying Nia's neurophysiology and finds a special neurocenter in her brain that can be triggered remotely. Nia is visiting the beach with Lebedev's son Stepan when Ivanova triggers the system. Nia loses control of her body and falls into the water. The device also triggers a clear memory of her home planet, where she sees a man explain the purpose of the control system, giving him control over the clones. The flashback ends when Stepan pulls her from the water. Nia joins an archaeological expedition, where she has another flashback that reveals she is from the planet Dessa. She returns from the expedition to find that a diplomatic mission from Dessa has just arrived at the spaceport to ask for help from Earth. She learns they will return to Dessa on the Astra and stows away on the ship. By chance, both Stepan and Professor Ivanova are also aboard. The Astra encounters Nia's ship, identified by the Desan diplomats as the Gaia. A transmitter for the Neural Command system has been left on, forcing Nia to teleport aboard without a spacesuit. She manages to disable the signal before passing out, and is rescued by Stepan. One of the diplomats, Rockin, explains that the Gaia was the last ship to leave Dessa. Aboard was Professor Glenn, who was building an army of clones and awaiting a signal from rebel forces on the planet that the time was right to return and take over. The Astra reaches Dessa to find a planet that has been stripped of all minerals, leaving the air and water poisoned. Life on the surface is only possible due to Turinchox, who runs a gas mask factory out of Glenn's former institute. Turinchox is unhappy with the presence of the Earth ship, which has the power to clean up the mess and put him out of business. After the humans successfully test a way to clean the air, he poisons the only remaining water supply and blames it on them, inciting a riot. Due to Nia's intervention, the plan is not wholly successful. Turinchox activates one of Glan's control devices and uses it to force Nia to place a bomb on the Astra. Rockin attempts to stop him, but is stabbed by one of Turinchox's agents. Near death, Rockin crawls off and releases Glan's last and most deadly experiment, a blob-like mass which begins killing everyone in the lab, including Turinchox. Outside, Ivanova attempts to take the bomb from Nia, but is shot by Turinchox's agent. The shock of her death breaks the control's effect on Nia. Nia's powers, aided by the remaining crew of the Astra and the ship's robot, defeat the monster. The Astra leaves for home, leaving Nia behind on a mended planet.